everybody, how's it going? Today, let's take a look at the 2012 Volkswagen CC R-Line. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the CC. We'll start it up, show the engine, go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Carolina Volkswagen in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. It's the candy white exterior with black leatherette interior. Frameless windows. Beautifully styled interior. To start, just put your foot on the brake Insert the key and hold. Very nice. Leather wrapped steering wheel with side bolster and extensions up top. It's got the six speed DSG automatic transmission with manual shiftability, Tiptronic, as well as sport mode. Sport mode changes the times of the transmission shifts to give the feeling of actually shifting a manual vehicle but being in automatic mode. DSG or direct shift gearbox is basically a twin clutch transmission. One operating gears 1, 3, and 5 and the other one's controlling 2, 4, and 6. Basically eliminating lag and shifting and allowing one millisecond shifts in manual mode. And it's going to come the headlights. There are automatic lights, fog lights as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? The R-Line is a special sport package available for the CC, which includes extended sill and front bumpers, R-Line shaded tail lamps, stainless door sill plates, and front fog lights. Gorgeous profile. Also, special 18 inch alloy wheels, nitrogen filled with all season nail guard self sealing tires. LED integrated turn signal mirrors. And we're going to pop the hood. This CC comes with the 2 liter dual overhead cam, turbocharged 4 cylinder, 16 valves, variable valve timing and direct injection, produces 200 horsepower at 5100 RPM and 207 foot pounds of torque at 1700 RPM. It's front wheel drive, independent front and rear suspension, 18.5 gallon fuel tank with an estimated miles per gallon on premium unleaded gas of 21 city, 31 highway. Very interesting door characteristics with the frameless windows. Bright trim along the doors, as well as the dash and center console. Went ahead and shut it off just to cut out the beeping for a moment. Does have padded door panels, stitched armrest, power windows, power mirrors, power locks. The mirrors are also heated. Your fuel cap and trunk release, as well as locking mechanism, storage. 
like I said, it's got fully perforated leatherette seating with full power adjustment, heat, as well as side airbags, four-way power lumbar adjustment, and you also have your color contrast stitching, adjustable seat belts, as well as adjustable headrests. It does have a tilt steering wheel. This one has the all-weather mat package. Nice sloping dash. And let's go ahead and see if she sounds. You hear a bit of that turbo whine in the background as well. and shut it up. Solid doors. Simple to use climate control. AC recycling, rear defrost, your different zones as well as front defrost, and temperature with max AC. Like I said, three-stage heated seats for the driver and passenger. This one also has the premium 8-speaker audio system with full touchscreen mobile media interface. Also a CD changer, standard Sirius satellite radio. A few different preset stations. different options. Some of your various customizable settings. Mute for telephone. Different tone settings. The navigation system is also optional for this vehicle. You also have HD radio standard. Sunglass container, auto dimming rear view mirror, interior illumination, Bluetooth hands free telephone. There is no phone connected. Main menu. Help. Help. To call a contact, say for example, call John Smith at home. You can also say dial number, redial, music, or further options. To stop the dialogue at any time, say cancel. Cancel. Tasteful bright work around the steering wheel, as well as a little bit of chrome around the Volkswagen emblem. Your hands-free phone controls, off hook button, radio controls with volume, and select between your preset stations. This is for your driver information system up in the heads up display. Customizable settings. Also select between your preset stations. Intermittent wipers, your cruise control. Electronic parking brake with auto hold function, traction control, cup holders, stitch center console, auxiliary input. It's also adjustable. Analog clock. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and shut it down. Now let's check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? The windows roll down just slightly to clear the top panel. I apologize for some of the extra wind. About to get a nasty storm here in a little while. Very sporty rear seats. 
They also fold. 60-40 split to open up the rear cargo space nicely. Rear power outlet. Little center console with cup holders. As well as an armrest with trunk pass through. Low sloping roof line. And it also retains a pretty decent amount of headspace. I'm about 5'10 myself and I have about an inch or so of usable headspace and plenty of leg room. Coat hooks up above, as well as here. Easy opening trunk. Plenty of space. It's also lit with side storage pockets. Fuel cap. Same power adjustments for the passenger seat. Absolutely beautiful car. Well built interior, nice and tight feeling. The glove box also works as an integrated cool box. By just opening this little vent here, it funnels in cool air from when you had the air conditioner system on to keep items chilled. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this in-depth tour on the 2012 Volkswagen CCR line. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's a lot more where that came from. Take care, everybody.